Coming up on another episode of Through the Turnstiles, we visit QPR's ground Loftus Road, trying to work out what this mascot is supposed to be. Is it a panther? The worst ever stadium legroom, demonstrating why you are exactly in the reserves. Oh dear. How to get an atmosphere going. When I say spaghetti, you say <laughs> Away fans fighting each other, having the time of their life and taking part in your standard away end limbs. Queen's Park Rangers, better known as QPR. Hoops, some people like to say ours, and one person even likes to go by the name of Queen's Park Raisins, a football club that has moved grounds more than any other club, 18 times to be precise, since they were formed in 1886. I mean, make your mind up. But since the 60s, they have settled at Loftus Road, the ground we shall be visiting today. This full-seater stadium is at an 18,439 capacity, Sitting in the heart of White City, West London, rivals to Chelsea, Brentford and Fulham, and round the corner from the UK's biggest shopping centre, Westfield, in Shepherd's Bush. There's something interesting about that ground, and I can't quite work it out. It's been a while since QPR were last in the Prem. Obviously, we remember that side from the iconic moments that took place at the Etihad. I do also remember some good fixtures against them as a Spurs fan. But where are QPR now? They sit just eight points away from relegation. And in 2018, QPR were fined over £40 million due to the EFL spending limits that occurred in the 2014 season when they earned promotion to the Premier League by winning the Championship playoffs. And whilst QPR are currently a struggling side in the Championship, they play against Blackburn Rovers who are in good form and have a big possibility of playing in the playoffs this season. I would say my prediction is leaning towards a Blackburn win, but you never know what a home atmosphere could do. Let's make our way over to Loftus Road and find out. Hello and welcome to another episode of Through the Turnstiles where we are going to Loftus Road. I've never been to Loftus Road myself, but I've heard some good things about it and I'm looking forward to visiting that ground. I see that quite a few of you have enjoyed watching us Through the Turnstiles content, so please do hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments below which game you would like me to visit next. And also feel free to follow any of my socials as well, they're all out here on the screen. So the time right now is currently 11am and I'm going to be meeting a mate uh, where we'll be making the journey over to West London, White City to be precise. I'm looking forward to this. Um, obviously, as I said, I think Blackburn are going to win, but you never know with a, what a home atmosphere can do. But anyway, enough chat, enough waffle. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let's get going to the game. As I make my way and leave the house and lock up, I decide that it's probably best I get some munch versus I actually haven't eaten. And what have I gone for? Some Mountain Dew and a meat-free sausage roll. Oi, don't slag it off just because it's not me, because I call this Super Scran. I then make my way over to Cricklewood train station where I'm messaging my mate who I'm meeting on the train and he informs me that the first class section is free. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> thought this was first class. This train turned... Listen, if I'm having first class treatment, I expect doors to open automatically. Oh, by the way, my mate's not going to be on camera. He's camera shy. But if you want to see him, comment below face reveal. And who knows, maybe he might change his mind. And as we make our way to the underground, coincidence? I think not. This journey actually isn't too bad. It takes less than an hour for me to get there. And just like that, we are already in Shepherd's Bush. And it's just a short walk for me. And just like that, I'm at Loftus Road. Although I'm having slight problems trying to find it because it seems to be hidden behind a lot of houses. Normally, I'd be quite sceptical living right near a football ground. But this area is actually quite nice. It's actually very, very nice. It's typical West London. But finally, I spot the actual outer layer of the stadium. And I've got to say, it looks proper, proper standard English football ground. The stadium has got a very nice character to it. And it shows off the right colours to represent Queen's Park Range. We finally managed to find our right turnstile after exploring the stadium, which I've got to say, it's a fancy looking digital sort of turnstile, not your typical turnstiles, despite looking like a typical English football ground. And now it's time to walk up the steps to go and find our seat and check out this stadium that people call Loftus Road. It looks like the 60s. Right there. Yeah, I think that's the away end there. I have to tell you, what you No, this is so... This is... Right, so at Luton, 
it was probably like to there. This is like worse than right in there. This is. to summarize very quickly my experience about Loftus Road I liked what it looked like from the outside but when you actually go in with all that lack of legroom and heads blocking away poles blocking away occasionally 
It's actually made me hurt my back, and my back is in pain right now as I speak. Atmosphere wasn't that great, but I don't blame QPR too much because their football and their season has just been very poor. Blackburn were by far the better team and more controlling throughout the game, and that pretty much sums up my experience at Loftus Road. Bad back, but a good game to have watched overall. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know which fixture or ground you want me to visit next for my series that I like to call Through the Turnstiles. Just yeah.